Welcome back everybody to Ignite. Today we have something special for you in line. Let's jump into the worship. Matthew 22, 37, 38 Matthew 22, Jesus replied Love the Lord your God With all your heart And with all your soul like this image that I drew I made a mistake and I thought I had to restart but all I had to do was take the eraser and rub it out so isn't this a little bit like Jesus it's crazy because Jesus loves us so much that whenever we make a mistake all we have to do is just give it to him and he erases it and makes it look like it was never there and also, when we give our lives to Jesus, He does something really amazing. He restarts our lives. So if we were ugly to friends, if we were walking in sin, Jesus restarts it and He makes it look like it was never there. Just like my picture. When I made a, a mistake, I erased it and now it looks like it was never even there. How amazing is that? And that's all because of Jesus' love for us. He can restart anything. All you have to do is just speak to him and he will happily restart it. All right, that's enough for me today. Bye. Hey kids, I hope you guys are doing great. What an amazing, amazing story about restart. So listen, just like Paul said in the Bible, we need to fix our eyes on what lies ahead and forget what lies behind us so we can move forward. And it's so awesome to know that, you know that Paul, before he was a Christian, he persecuted the church. He hurt other Christians. And then Jesus encountered him and he forgave him of all his sins. There was nothing too big for God to handle. He wasn't thinking, oh man, I'm just gonna throw this Paul away because he's killing my people. No, no, no. God was like, I'm going to give this man a restart. Give him a future. So just like that, kids, you can never run too far from God. 
just know that he wants to give you a restart. If you've run too far from him, if you feel like you've made too many mistakes, you can go to Jesus at any time, any place, and any point. All right, guys, that's me for today. Cheers. Hi, guys. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. So if you haven't given your heart to Jesus yet, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is ask him to come and stay inside and he will be there forever and ever. So you can just pray with me and after me and Jesus is there right there with you listening and he will hear. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you died on the cross to save us. Thank you that you defeated death and sin. Thank you that you are stronger than any enemy we could ever face. I pray that you will come into my heart. I give it to you. I want you to be the king of my life. Thank you that you are my savior. I pray that your Holy Spirit will fill me, that your Holy Spirit will lead me. I, I ask that you will forgive me of all my sin. I pray that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wasn't that just amazing? It was so nice to have you here. We'll see you again next week.